This is Jim Emter, Van Ana Company, Alexandria, Minnesota, with your cloning, closing grain and livestock comments for September 5th, 2017. Corn market up three to four today. Soybeans leading the charge up 18 to 19. Chicago wheat up three to four. Minneapolis wheat down two to three and Kansas City up six to seven. When you look to the day's uh, ranges and uh, movement, you might be scratching your head a little bit and saying, where's this found strength coming from? When you look to the dollar index down nearly 40 to 50, when you look to USDA reporting a private sale of corn and soybeans today, the potential increase in demand is strong with that kind of correlation of the dollar index uh, for US goods. And that's encouraging. We need to see that show up now. The other thing with the uncertainty of Irma and just concerns about North Korea, I think the uh, flight to quality exit out of the Dow, uh, Dow down nearly 200 to 250 points for much of the day into commodities is really the asset of nature right now as you watch gold, silver, uh, hogs, corn, beans, wheat, you know, cotton, the softs, really across the complex strengthen. So we'll see just where this can take us. We look for pretty stiff resistance around that 375 corn mark and really between about 975 and 990 on the soybeans. So watch those levels very closely. Why isn't Minneapolis wheat following? Well, we continue to be uh, kind of on the tail end of spring wheat harvest. Uh, this seasonally can be some lows. We look for a little more strength here as we work uh, through mid-September and towards Thanksgiving. Uh, but right now it's about finding the bottom in the spring wheat. So uh, with that, we'll transfer over to the feeder cattle down 105 today. Live cattle mixed anywhere from down 72 in the front to up 25s in the backs. And the hog market had a very good day, up a buck in the deferreds and up 230 in the nearby. So hog market looking here this time of year, I also found a bit of a base bottom. A lot of the bearish rhetoric has been about the increase in production numbers, but we need to see those come to fruition. And with a few more plants on board, uh, obviously we got some inlets and needs here uh, for hogs. So look for hogs to maybe struggle in the 63 uh, area. Once again, 65 the high off the December, uh, but you know, really kind of caught in this tone here where yes, we can get up a couple more bucks, but probably gonna run into uh, some resistance there. Feeder cattle, live cattle, kind of stuck in a rut here. Seasonally, this can be a low. Look for some strength as we work through fall but our ability to stabilize here is I think what the market's working on right now. So looking for a stronger tone here over the coming months. This has been Jim Emter, Van Ana Company, Alexandria, Minnesota. Trading in futures and options involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers. Past performance is not indicative of future results. This is a solicitation.